a common way to ask for something or to ask someone if they want something is the expression e blank now or something and to kind of a little bit understand the meaning we first have to understand that e of course is that same expression like the he which means to become a as a to be a something e and the kikino of course tells us that it is a thing it's something e hale e mea ono e puke e lole whatever that thing may be kikino yeah coming out so this would be your coming out any kind of thing and the expression na or no is the expression for a possessor belonging to owned by for the sense of for to be something for someone so in a general sense whenever we want to ask a question for example like the example here as the knee now kalima to be ice cream as ice cream yeah as a non-specific object you can kind of think of the sense of asking the sense of make make Yeah, make make, e alkalima. Yeah, do you want ice cream? Yeah, non-specific, not the specific ice cream or some ice cream or that ice cream, but just ice cream in general. And with this now, of course, the expression of for you, for your control. E alkalima now. Yeah, an ice cream for you. And the response, of course, I. Yeah. I e alkalima nau. Yes, ice cream for me. Ah, uh, ice cream for me, please. Ke olu olu. Uh, being uh, a gentle person, a response in, in a gentleman way. So anything that we may have asked, e blank now, in a generic sense. And in response, I e blank nau, perhaps. Now, what is also used commonly is that I can also ask for something in the same way. If I wanted to say, oh, is that ice cream for me? Or perhaps I want an ice cream? Or how about like saying an ice cream for me? It's very much in the same way. Let's look at some examples on the whiteboard. and whoever that supposed item is for. And again, A possession and O possession depending on what we are talking about. If it's an item that's an A possession item, it's a na. If it's an item that's a O possession, it's no. So let's look at maybe I wanna, have someone is asking, says, hey, and I'm gonna say, do you want, uh, you want um, tea? Yeah, do you want tea? Iki now, yeah, we can recognize that T or key is an A possession item. Yeah, a T for you, and maybe I respond, I, Iki nau, I, Iki nau, please, thank you. Iki nau ke olu olu. Yes, I want some tea, please. Iki nau ke olu olu. I can also ask the question, perhaps I am asking for some tea and I see some tea on the table and I see they're serving tea and I want to ask for some tea for myself. In the same way, I would ask, basically saying tea for me. Yeah. Iki nau. Iki nau. Yeah. Some tea for me. Ke olu olu. E olu olu iki nau. Like me kama nau. Make make wao iki. I want some tea. So the things we first recognize is this E again is like the He being non-specific, non-specific, and the sense of it uh, as being uh, a non-specific object, something that you want, something you need perhaps. Now let's look at an example of something perhaps that might be an O possession. Well, maybe um, I look at you and I notice that uh, you don't have a blanket 
And I, I'm going to ask you, hey, you want a blanket? Yeah, do you want a blanket? I kapa no. I kapa no. A blanket for you? And you might respond, I. I kapa no. Ke olu olu. I kapa no. Ke olu olu. Yes, I want a blanket. Likewise, maybe I'm going to ask for a blanket. Yeah, I see a pile of blankets. I'm cold. I want one. I go over there and to ask for one, I say this in the same way. Ikapa no u. Ikapa no u. A blanket for me. Ke olu olu. Ai. Ikapa no. So as you can see, yeah, depending on what the item is, yeah, it determines whether or not it will be an A or O possession. And don't forget, our single possessors. Right. Na u nao nana, along with no u, no u, and no na. Yeah, so these are the single end possessive forms. Yeah. Now I could also be asking, maybe, maybe I want to ask for a blanket for chemo. Right? I want to say, hey, can I get a blanket for chemo? You know, I want to I give chemo a blanket. Well, it works in the same way. Yeah. Ikapa for chemo, no chemo. Ai, ai, you can say, oh, ai, ikapa no chemo, a blanket for chemo. Yeah, or in other words, hey, go give chemo a blanket. A common mistake in which this is expressed, and I'm going to write it down just so we know not to say it in this way, is taken directly from the English. When people will say something like, you know, what is this for? And people mistakenly will say, hey, aha, kia, no. And let's just be quick to understand. No, it's not hey, aha, kia, no, but instead, yeah. What is something for? Is very much related to when I want something. You notice it's that same mea that we have as we just um, spoke earlier about. So what is this for? Is related to the sense of something is for whom? And you notice it's that same mea. Yeah. So whatever that item might be, na or no, for whoever. And the response is pretty much whatever it is. Ipeni nao, ai, ipeni nao. Imea hakea, imea e kakawai. So what, one thing you quickly notice that this e very much is similar to the idea of he, and pretty much in the same idea as to be something for, as a thing, to be as a, any kind of so-called kikino, any kind of thing that's here. Okay, with that, thank you. Mahalo.